Hi, so here we have second example based on conditional probability. So the problem statement over here says, consider the experiment of tossing a coin. If the coin shows head, toss it again. But if it shows tail, then throw a die. Find the conditional probability of the event that the die shows the number greater than four, given that there is at least one tail. First, we are tossing a coin. And in this problem, I'm going to use tree method of finding the probability because that is very convenient over here. So if I start from this point, the total probability over here is one. And if I toss a coin, I can get either a head or a tail. And the probability of getting a head over here will be one by two. And the probability of here getting a tail will also be one by two and if we get a head we have to toss the coin again so again we can either get a head or we can get a tail and the probability of the getting a head in the second toss is one by four the probability of the parent node divided by the total number of equal probable children so here we have two children and the probability of the parent node is one by two so half of one by two is one by four similarly the probability of you getting a tail in the second toss will also be one by four, right? But if we get a tail in the first toss, we have to throw a die. And if we throw a die, we are going to get total six outcomes. We can get either one, two, three, four, five, or six. And each of them will have the probability equal to one sixth of half, that is one by 12. So this will be the complete tree of the event, right? Now, what we have to find? We have to find the conditional probability of the event that the die shows a number greater than four, given that there is at least one tail. So let us define two events, event A as getting a number more than four. And let's define the event B, where the event B is getting at least one tail and if we talk about the solution space the solution space s will be one will be this you are getting two heads then second will be one head and one tail and then we can have a tail and these numbers on the dice that is t and one t and two t and three t and four t and five t and six so this can be our solution space. But here one thing to remember is in our solution space, all the outcomes actually don't have equal probability. Where this you getting two heads has the probability one by four. You getting a head and a tail has the probability one by four. But all these six elements of you getting a tail first and then you getting these numbers on the dice actually have the probability one by 12 each. So. In this case, we have to be very careful while calculating the conditional probability and we have to follow the formula properly. So the formula for the conditional probability of event A happening where B has already happened is actually equal to probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. So how can you define the set A? Set A has the number greater than four. So if we look at this solution space and find out the outcomes which are favorable to event A, we can have T and five, and the second can be T and six. Only these two outcomes are favorable to event A. But if we talk about event B, where we have at least one tail, we have total seven outcomes which are favorable to event B and they are one head and tail and then all these tails first and the numbers. And now if we talk about A intersection B, again we will have total two elements which are there in set A. They will be T and 5 and T and 6, right? So these two elements will be there in A intersection B, right? And now what we have to do, we have to find the probability of A intersection B and the probability of B. So in this particular case, while finding out the probability of A intersection B and the probability of B, 
we are going to use the rule of or. The event B can happen in these many ways. Whether this event happens or 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 this or this, event B will be successful, right? So that is why the probability of B will actually be the sum of probability of all these individual events, right? So the probability of event B happening will be actually equal to the probability of you getting a head in the first throw and you getting a tail in the second throw plus the probability of you getting a tail and a one plus the probability of you getting a tail and two plus the probability of you getting a tail and three plus the probability of you getting a tail and a four plus the probability of you getting a tail and a five plus the probability of you getting a tail and a six right and this will be equal to probability of you getting a head and a tail is one by four and the probability of all these individual events is actually one by twelve for each of the case and there are total six such cases so the sum of all these will be one by two and this will be equal to three by four so the probability of you getting at least one tail is actually equal to three by four similarly from here we can get the probability of a intersection b will actually be equal to one by twelve which is the probability of you getting a tail in the first toss and you getting a five when you throw a dice that is this the probability of this event is one by twelve similarly the probability of this event is also one by twelve so it will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 and this will be equal to 1 by 6 and now if we calculate the probability of event A happening where B has already happened this will be equal to the probability of event A happening where B has already happened will be equal to the probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B which is actually equal to 1 by 6 divided by 3 by 4 and this will be equal to 1 by 6 multiplied by 4 by 3 right 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 and this is equal to 2 by 9 so probability of you getting at least one tail and getting a number which is more than 4 on the dice is 2 by 9 right so the answer for this problem is actually 2 by 9 so 2 out of 9 times it will happen that you get a tail and you get a number on the dice which is more than 4. So this is one more solved example based on the conditional probability. And after this we have I think two more examples based on conditional probability. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.